Hi everyone, um, I'm Mel from Mel Wilson Photography. I'm based in Broughton in Essex. Uh, unfortunately at the moment my studio is closed but I'm hoping to reopen in London Government Guidelines on the 6th of July. Um, so excited about that. So I thought I'd tell you a bit about me. So I'm Mel, um, I've been uh, running uh, my photography business for five years now. I originally started as Babies Once and Beyond but I changed my name to Mel Wilson Photography so it fit in for more um, different genres of photography um, and people knew me and they wasn't finding me then as Babies Once and Beyond so that was the reason for the name change. I did that in year three. Um, uh, yeah, so say, I basically started my photography business. Um, I was a office administrator, sales administrator right up until I had my little boy who is now six. I was due to go back um, to work in the office three days a week and I got made redundant the week before I was due back which threw a bit of a spanner in the works but it was it was when I'd been off of my children having my children that um, made me realise the importance of having photos um, they're obviously they're, they're only small for a while and I cherish every photo I have of my children um, I wish I had more with me with my children but I'm a typical mum I'm normally the other side of the camera which again is my other reason for getting him to the mummy and me's because I think it's so important that we exist in photos for when our children look back and say where was where was your mum um, and and to exist to exist in photos I think it's 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 going to be sad when they look back and there's no pictures of mums there's lots of dads because mum mums take a lot of pictures of dads but there's not so many of mums and and their little ones. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a little bit about me. So yeah, I started my photography business after being made redundant. I had my studio built in my garden. I just pushed the boat out and went for it. And I don't have any regrets. Um, it was difficult working around a, a little one because he was only um, nine months old when I started. He's now six and in year one at school. So obviously it's a lot easier now. I get the um, I get the day while, while they're both at school now. Uh, obviously it's a lockdown. <laughs> now I have them both home. But yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully once they're all back at school and we've we I've kicked off again, um, I'll yeah I'll get back into the swing and business will pick up. So yeah, here's um here's a positive um note to leave on. Thanks for your, thanks for watching. Um, if I can help any of you at all with um any headshots or or branding photography, I know how difficult it must be when you're running a business to have the um, photos to keep putting on social media, etc. Obviously, I'm lucky because it's, it is what I do. <laughs> but yeah, um, if anyone's um, interested, just um, give me a shout. Thanks. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you a little look around my studio. So my studio is obviously located in the back of my garden. So that's that's my doors and my, my, my garden outside. Um, it's not very nice at the moment, raining at the moment. Um, so you literally just come down my path, excuse my table of all my tomato plants on, <laughs> we've gone tomato mad in our house trying to do something with our kids, but yeah that's the path up to my studio, so this is coming double doors and this is my, um, all my props laid out nicely, so that's my cake smash props and my newborn baby props, so blankets and various bits, tutus for cake smashes, my frames that are my very popular frames. Um, um, some clothes. I don't offer too many clothes, but I do want to um, get a bigger wardrobe in here because I do think it would be helpful for when parents are not overly um, planned really for the for the session. It is it's handy to have a backup. So again, the newborn props. Um, I go in a bit further. That's all my little headbands I've got for the little ones. So all look, all look very pretty, just laid up nicely. Um, again, I have all my have all my bits stored. That's all my baby wraps that I use during a session. So it's all really, uh, really nicely laid out now. So I can just well, I've always been able to just it's always been at hand. So it's it's nice. So that's that is predominantly why I work from the studio and and not out and about because you just don't have access to all the things that you need during a session. Okay, again, we've got some flowers, dresses, my chaise lounge that I, I use in shoots, and I also um, is my my seat for when parents are waiting and I'm I'm with a baby. Um, 
So that's one side of my studio. Uh, I'll show you the other side of my studio is where I actually shoot. All right, guys, this is my shooting, uh, shooting area. I've got um, kind of two halves of my studio, I guess. Uh, one is more for the props and the parents sit, and this is my area where I shoot. Um, mums can sit here, obviously, if they um, want to watch the session, but they're quite happy to sit through there with Dad on the show's lounge. We can swoop around so they can see. So again, all laid out. My studio is all white. Um, my sessions are very white predominant, especially for the newborns. And for cake smashes, I generally use white with another colour. So again, my studio matches that kind of look. So that's where I store all of my blankets and stuff. So all neatly put away and there, all nice and clean, all ready to open back up. Um, some pictures along here. That's a cake smash. Newborn, my, my spare camera, my camera, and a sitter session there, another lens that I use. Um, during the lockdown, I've been working on a lot of um, different bits for the studio. Um, I've completely decorated the studio and it's all had a complete deep clean. Um, all the blankets and everything have been washed and stored back away. Um, so really, really heightened the... Um, a cleaning structure even though it's always clean I've always dealt with newborn babies so it has to be um just looks nice with a fresh coat of paint now so I'm, I'm pleased I've done that um also been working on a lot of new marketing ideas for when I reopen and to, to get me kicked off now um obviously I'm going to be focused on getting some bookings I have had a few inquiries so it, it, everything is starting to pick up which is good um I've been working a lot on my website so I've done a lot of stuff on my website not yet published that I've still got a couple of bits to do but I'm really pleased with how that's turned out um I've also been working um on a mentoring program with a lady called a very uh, famous photographer called Sue Bryce um she's into more of a glamour type magazine experience photoshop which I love the idea of but I want to incorporate that into my brand. So I'm going to be looking more in the way of, um, I do specialise in, in newborn and maternity. So obviously the next step on from there, I believe um, will fit with my brand. It's going to be um, maternity, newborn. I do a lot of cake specials anyway, but then the next step will be mummy, mummy and me. So I'm going to be really pushing mummy and me sessions. And it doesn't have to be mummy and me. It can be mum and me. It can be down to older children. I don't, get an awful lot of older children um at the moment and um, before lockdown I'm predominantly maternity and then under ones but I want to open that right up now and start offering a lot more sessions um but yeah really focusing on the mummy and me so whether that's a, a mum and daughter I think that it would be a lovely experience even even my mum and me I'm thinking about doing it if my mum's 70 um very soon so I'm thinking about doing something like that for me and her and also incorporating my daughter, so it's almost like a generation um, type shoot. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. I'm also looking into broadening into start doing some sort of headshots and branding work. I have just today done a little branding session of my own, <laughs> which which was a lot more challenging than I thought. Trying to take your own photograph, um, I had my uh, my camera set up on a tripod um, with a timer delay, so that was a new experience for me. But um, I haven't yet looked at the results, so I'll go and have a play with those later on this afternoon. Um, uh, if anyone's interested in seeing them, I'll, I will probably put them on my page at some point. Um, but yeah, I really want to get into that because I think that fits well with my brand as well. So it's predominantly women in business mums. So again, fits well within my brand. Um, so yeah, so exciting times really. So yeah, I've been working on a, a lot of stuff really to get ready to give me a big push as we're going forward now into July. So, um, yeah, really excited.